Now everyone's trying to steal your Bitcoin. If you want to have fun following on BitCloud, undow do, baby. I'm having the best time trolling these alt writers who launched this. Five years, and her behind years, it, buy Bitcoin, right? hold it doesn't take rocket science to figure out who's Every behind BitClap as a platform, with Twitter, FPCs. Facebook, so when YouTube, you killer. In, you're get FPCs. Uh, when you it is the folks this, that were kicked FPCs. off of them, right? FPCs is, uh, is it of, the folks uh, who did? Probably. FPCs is it the folks whose assets, them. as we speak, um, are being seized by the FBI for their assault in U.S. Capitol, wants it? And one of the poor chests for their global fourth recognition? Probably. Is it the folks who are looking... For a platform so to unite their global nationalistic your, movement your, your, your under immutable to their Bitcoin is a platform vehicle, out most definitely. Years, wake like up. <laughs> there he is. is the Here's the fucker. The Here's Cambridge Analytica guy, you know, all this what stuff. What level of consumer, on that. collaborate creator are you? Can be a co creator on here. Token. So, so and then this uh, Kravenstein guy, makes this guy here, yours. you know, have a link right that here. That the Fed someone, sees you know, all is, sorts is, of stuff. He's a Ponzi is, uh, guy. Say, uh, and here's a Ponzi guy comes fucking, a uh, you know, Again, shilling a Ponzi shit coin, right, onto their people. We're not, we're not the they're people. They're trying to steal as much Bitcoin as they can. And everyone's buying into it because they're good at it. They've been doing it for a while. So here's this guy. So what people choose to do with my Bitcoin for that means again, all his followers, he got kicked Twitter, Let's say right? someone does no. do Coca-Cola, right? And um, tell them look, to do it. only one life. Do it, or they did prints, or they did. <laughs> and then know, here's something. the, you know. Well, guess what? It would be the creator right? would be assigned to the planet. This is why I'm forking it. Or Coca-Cola, right? or whoever. Look at my book, so, Rise Capital, so blah blah blah. So the percentage blah, of the tokens know? of the creator tokens and, uh, will always I go may and pick, be held. I pick cloud that, possible, right? Because just like buy that shit coin, let Google can go out and do this whole. Ah, me and Vitalik. Um, you know, copyright <laughs> violation. If there's a copyright violation, it's just going to basically uh, hold that. Anyway, it's not going to stop it. It's too it's funny. Just hold I will murder cap them. With my and then when Coca Cola clout. comes in, it says, "You got to hey, admit, dude, this is like it's hilarious." Here here's your like, creator, here's in, your, here's uh, your tokens, All right? Here you go. I took the picture. Having this is dinner. A, this is the I took brave the picture. New world. This is a world where really <laughs> IP and all this stuff doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, for them. Right? Oh that's the, my god. That's the old capitalism. Uh, Lemmings have invested. The new world. world everyone's fair. Everyone's treated. Um, and this is again. Remember, this is completely ubiquitous. It's it's Bitcoin as a platform. Actually, I was wrong. Right. I thought it was six. That was actually a day. Um, so it was actually less. It was why like now? Bitcoin. Well, fuck Bitcoin. But that was um, really since. Look at the growth. Now yeah. this is just likes. This is also the growth. The wallet. You can actually look at their wallet and see. I haven't looked today, but they did fifty Bitcoin oh, yesterday. I right? Let me just love my own shit. Let's see dude. what they did today. Every day I'm gonna look at their their, <laughs> their, their thing. Um, they're the Gencon. Gencon means entry. Oh, there's the. This is their whole thing, right? World, the right. fucking so, flag um, all over the world. And you know. they are working out i mean for example they're working out the network and all the issues as people coming on um, and they're the first subscriber unicorn which will i mean over a million people are going to be on them uh, one of the big problems with with blockchain is really is scalability it's too funny uh, like i said over four thousand bitcoin right uh, but they you get nothing as a you're just they're just stealing your bitcoin right so that's in essence what they're doing well, size yeah, is, is uh, here, fucking right? awesome. Bitcoin, awesome, AI, awesome, about, awesome the page. The there is an option. Anyway. And um, that's it. It's time the for us now to pick with, with, with the page. The know, troll. The advent of, uh, and uh, yeah, my is followers to are going out. Use that model to usher in a new business model. The why of the blockchain was always to create a new sandbox. This is why I shared the idea. What came Ethereum? With the founders of, of uh, Bitcoin Magazine. And this guy it's is not. What these are all fake accounts, man. The, the idea. fucking founder well, of, came of Airbnb. Right. This guy. Another fake account. I came up with the idea right? because I knew I needed a new sandbox to usher in a new paradigm. More fake this accounts. This new paradigm is what I'm sharing with fake you right accounts. now. Capitalism 3.0. Because we couldn't go to the old paradigm and say fix it. But now, together, we can usher in this new paradigm. It's that simple. So this is the why of the blockchain. Um, and everything else is noise. <laughs> the competition. Competition? Competition is a capitalism 1.0 paradigm built on the consumption, uh, consumption uh, competition of consumption, right? In capitalism, there is no, there is no competition. Everything form, all the smart DAOs form a kind of a, what's known as a distributed beneficial koretsu. The logo that they are using is the logo of a distributed beneficial koretsu, right? The stacked pyramids. 
that's a Kiretsu. All tokens in the Kiretsu are interchangeable. So, so bots w- are what making I want to do is go to accounts, organizations right? and say, hey, you want a, you want your own um, token? Want everything else? Here it is. And, and guess what? Uh, I can go your valuation is going to be not be on the consumption of your maybe. token and the destruction of the planet, but actually on the benefit that you provide and the benefit that is that is ushered in. Um, competition, it gone. That's old world. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So product development, really, there's three parts. There is the 3V engine, which we already have a little bit going, and I'm actually talking to um, the, pub, the Noodle key. King to get it going. On uh, We're going to get it going on, on uh, BitClout, and we're going to get it so that basically if you participate, with our, you're going to get our, our token. So um, the second thing I want to develop is called Fucks for Code. Oh, sorry, FUCs for Code. Slip up there. It's really supposed to be FUCs for Code, guys promise you and uh, the idea is one of the big problems is and this actually came from 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 them from a bit cloud the way they did their their uh you know their twitter authorization is the same thing you'll do for your um github code so imagine you and, have uh, the the ai searching for code that has been put in they find it in a github right uh that someone provided and then it says hey Please uh, send you the public send you their public key. Please send back your public key from your GitHub address, and we will reward you. Some these SECs. guys are not so, setting uh, up a big and then account. The right? DAO. This is they're just SECs, doing this uh, to drive people the in. The, F, the DAO will handle all of the distribution and, uh, uh, and management through a kind of smart contracts right. and AI, right? Deciding which smart contract to implement, um, and then the smart DAO. This is the, the smart DAO is is. Um, is basically um, holds all the Bitcoin, right, and issues all the FUCs. Um, and when you fork it, you can, you know, you change FUC to whatever you want for your for your token, and uh, it uh, and it does the same thing. So, how does it work? Well, every time there's a every time someone mints a token, every time someone swaps or uses a token, there is a cost, small cost involved, um, and uh, those costs ultimately all go to the um, smart DAO, and in the smart DAO rewards them for you know for those for those costs and payments. So, you know, one of the things that limit people from just go- tokenizing, going crazy and tokenizing everything ultimately is is a fee, right? On that, how many how many FUCs do you want? So, who's the team? Well, I, I envision this is I'm you know Satoshi, you out there, you know, developer, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's FUCs for code time, baby. And uh I, you know, um the the one thing that we will set up is kind of an IOHK. Um I'm gonna be setting that up in July. Um I'm also gonna be setting up the uh BitClout DAO if they don't do it in Wyoming, since they're in Wyoming. So we'll be setting up in Wyoming as an or as a DAO and the smart DAO in Wyoming will be set up in July. Mashup of the app is coming. Um, I've given some glimpse of that a little bit, and uh, here are some collateral links that you can check out and everything else. Uh, I appreciate you listening. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by Discord. Foundup's Discord is our Discord right here, right? And I'm usually sitting in Dog's open office. I meant to write God's, but I'm dyslexic. What can I say? All right, so Dog's. The Augs open office. Pop in there, talk to me, um, and uh, you know. They're actually and, clever. Uh, what they're doing to, is uh, find they're running a bot as him involved, to get him to come uh, in to claim his and, account. Uh, help launch. <laughs> That's actually fucking I am clever, dude. <laughs> that is fucking clever. Oh my gosh, that gosh that's what they're doing. Buddhism. My they're running got, a bot on it. All these people and uh, following and everything else. The opportunity. To, uh, it's up to you now. What's going to happen? And you can participate by running it. If you want to give a contribution yeah. to our Patreon page, you can do that, um, or you can join the team, or you know, um, link up with me on LinkedIn, um, and uh, you know, share the vision. That's what you could do too, right? Just share. Say, hey, listen, to this guy, he may be on something. <laughs> on the Now do.
That is the do for you from the heartland of Zen Buddhism. You can always follow me on Twitch Foundups. I broadcast every day. I am broadcasting this as I record it. And uh, I live in the fifth age. In the fifth age, everything you do is being monitored by Obey. And Obey obeys you. And ultimately, I'm here to help you. So D-Day approaches D equals zero when decentralized block production begins in earnest. With that in mind, we wanted to dig a little bit deeper into the decentralization story for Cardano. So we asked Colin to convene a few familiar faces to discuss that in a little bit more detail. Let's go to that now. Let's maybe start talking a bit about a zoomed out view of what's happening. When it comes to decentralization, it's important to be clear what we mean by that. It's really a, a three-legged stool, three different aspects, block production, governance, and the network. And today we have three different speakers to help us cover some of the different aspects. We have Lars and Duncan, who are frequent commenters on the system, and also Sean McMurdo, who's one of the more outspoken and productive members of our SPO community, raised it's numerous it, community improvement wow. proposals. Since it's this is the first time I think we've had Sean on the show, I'd like to say, uh, hello, Sean. Can you give us a little bit about your background and, and talk about what you did before jumping in as an SPO? I've been a software architect and developer for many years and from the dot-com days to working at various companies doing all kinds of crazy things, virtual reality stuff and fintech and getting into crypto and then finding Cardano. And, and then that brought me into being an SPO and then looking at all the great things that IOG has built and trying to them all the help be part more. of making it better. Awesome. We're really pleased to have you here. Your uh, community proposals have sparked a lot of internal communication and have been really valuable in our own processes. So we really love that feedback that we get from you and we hope that it really keeps up. Just to jump into some of the topics, Lars, let's talk about the first of these, block production. Okay. Remind us again, what's happening and, right. and why the D parameter right. is so important. Oh. To understand the D parameter, we have, must remember that before the Shelley era, Cardano Classic was a federated system. So there were just eight nodes that could produce blocks. And then Shelley changed all that and basically handed block production over to the community. But even though we were very careful and thought very hard about how to set the incentives and how to set everything up that will go well, we still wanted to not immediately switch one step from federated to everybody can create blocks. So we decided to introduce this D parameter that allows like a weighted distribution between the federated nodes and full decentralization. So the idea was when Shelley started, it was basically all the federated nodes still. And then we slowly changed this D parameter and with each change, the proportion of blocks that were produced by the stake pools increased. And when it reaches zero, wait, wait, wait. then that means that it's completely in the hands of the stake pools. So, so that was just a means to, to make it smooth so that there won't be any un unpleasant them. surprises. I mean, there were I'm not, but on, we just wanted platform. to make sure that everything goes smoothly and that if something goes wrong, we can stop the process and fix it before we continue. Well, it's good to know. And I think that it's a pretty exciting time because this is one of the, the first major milestones on our, our march to decentralization. It's only part of the journey, but it's a really important step. And I think this is a, a huge occasion for us as we're handing over the large part of this just to the community and away from the, the Shelley Genesis nodes. D is, is one of the parameters we use in our, our system. And some of the other key parameters we'll just talk a little <laughs> bit about. Out. You know, so beyond D that controls block production, we have other parameters such as K, which sets the, the maximum size of pools. And in fact, uh, will ultimately determine the number of pools in the community that can be at a fully saturated or the, the full production size. Uh, we have other parameters also. Another important one is called the A not parameter, which is the additional benefit, which is the money that the SPO has put down contributes and, and earns, and also fees. One of the important 
proposals that we have is from Sean McMurdo, who's joined us today uh, on the pledge oh, benefit. So, Sean, uh, 